I miss you guys so much. So I thought we could start a weekly story time. Every week, I will tell you a story. This week, I'm starting off with Home by Carson Ellis because we're all spending a lot of time at home. Bird's home. It's in a nest. Home is a house in the country. Or home is in an apartment. Some homes are boats. Whoa. And some homes are wigwams. And some are palaces. Or underground lairs. Or shoes. This is my favorite one. I would love to live in a shoe. Miss Molly, why would you want to live in a shoe? That's weird. Uh, because I'd be the freshest smelling person there ever was, duh. French people live in French homes. Doop, doop, doop. That's the sound of a trumpet. Atlanteans make their homes underwater. <gasps> Do you think they know about the coronavirus? I mean, I gotta call all my friends who are underwater. I'll do it after the book. Don't worry, I'll call yours too. And some folks live on the road. Like rock stars. Clean homes. Messy homes. Tall homes. Short homes. Sea homes. B homes. Hollow tree homes. C, B, tree. What's it called when words do that? When they sound similar? C, B, tree. Oh, it's a rhyme. Is that what you were gonna say? I thought so. Great detective work. But whose home is this? Who would live on a cliff? Oh yeah, most of Pittsburgh. What about this? Look how big that snail is compared to the house. <gasps> Fairies. Who in the world lives here? And why? This is the home of a Slovakian duchess. Him, right there. That's the Slovakian duchess. This is the home of a Kenyan blacksmith. This is the home of a Japanese businessman. This is the home of a Norse god. <gasps> a babushka lives here. A moonian lives here. Ooh. A raccoon lives here. Come out. An artist lives here. This is my home, and this is me. Where is your home? And where are you? The end. Okay, 
So what I would like you guys to think about now is not only the home that you live in, but imagine all the homes you might have in the future. Or maybe a home you had in the past. Or maybe a home that's in your heart. I've moved so many times. And I can tell you, when I feel most at home, it's when I'm teaching. It's when I'm with you guys, learning and discovering things together. So in your journals, I would like you to write about all your different kinds of homes, physically or in your heart. You can also write about your dream home. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanna show you. And it is a book that I've started to make for you, but it's not finished yet, so I'm sorry. But anyway, I was thinking about how we're all sitting and probably bored, and I thought about what if there was this little boy named Sokra who lives in a car with his mom in a city. And his mom all of a sudden says, ah, I have to go get this box. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. And Sokra just sits there waiting for his mom, very, very, very bored. But all of a sudden, he transports. to a deserted library. And there he finds very strange things, including a bird who becomes his BFF, best friend forever, and they go on adventures in the deserted library. I still have to finish it, but I'm bringing it up because I think you guys should make your own books. I did mine with paper and lots of scrap paper, magazines, glue, scissors, and I used an old book. So, okay, that's it. I will see you guys next week for a new story time. And I hope you guys are doing great. Keep washing your hands. That was my clean symbol. Whenever you're clean, that's what you can you can do to prove it. Okay, bye guys. Have a great week.